and to finish on something that will impact all classes at once, which is the common spells. Who will be uh, modified slightly for this uh, update. So, we have done a little sweep and we've looked at all of them. Globally, they were very well functioning. We've done a little analysis some months and we've noticed that globally they are used, they're useful. But effectively, with time, we've realized that this 4 AP spell or less played compared to the 3 AP one. So we've brought two big modifications that would make the balancing of common spells more meaningful. No more 4 AP spells. Everything goes to 3 AP. There's no minimum AP on spells, which was a bit uh, annoying for all the damage and critical and uh, effects will be adjusted accordingly so that they're balanced spells. So there are uh, there are spells that were designed to be complementary to some classes to have an extra uh, elemental spell that can have some sort of utility that complement the spell kit and but but it's mostly so they can be useful every now and then so some interesting cooldowns that enhance the gameplay but with four AP they become not useful so people rely on other spells and they they fail them. So in empty spell, uh, so they were only ever used, they've noticed the 4 AP one were only used in turns where we had nothing else to do. And that's not how they, they've thought of them initially. They wanted them to be a complement to spell kits rather than something that you use when you have absolutely nothing else to do. So now they've reduced their AP. They've balanced the effects, damage and effects. So they are in line with the three AP use and we'll see how they go. So there will be one spell in particular that will be modified, which is Provocation. So it will become Attraction. So it will be the opposite of uh, Release. When we release the spell in this, uh, in, in this state, when we've released it, it was an attraction on both ways. So you attract yourself too, and they attract Anyat. So it's no longer, it's not, it's not the same uh, distance as uh, Release. It will be less, but it will be a complete attraction. No, you don't move yourself whenever you cast it. So we'll see this version of it and we'll see if it works, if it works well. So we'll keep an eye on it because of the new functioning is completely confirmed. Uh, the other works are already confirmed because of the use data we have some, but we were expecting, we are relying on your feedback to see whether you've liked these changes or not, or whether they need to be reviewed. And then he asks him, Rebeck asks him about uh, leak by. Do you have any plans for leak by? <laughs> You've not mentioned it. <laughs> and I can't see it on the infographic here. <laughs> I asked the question because I've seen it pop up a lot in the chat. <laughs> yeah, because I've said everything to 3 AP. That one will not, will not be effect now. Only the 4 AP base will go to 3 AP. The 2 AP will not go to 3 AP. <laughs> Thank you very much for um, the details about all the balancing. The change log will be published tomorrow at the same time at the beta opening. Normally the beta opens around 3, 4 p.m. the office time. Um, let's not hide from it. it. It has a lot to do with the technical problems that we may have around the opening. But I can tell you that it's usually around 3 p.m. And that's when we hope to open it. That's it. Thank you very much for the balancing crocus which brings us to the end of this presentation of the update 271 this is the moment where if you have questions you can pop them in the chat uh, <laughs> i was gonna say that but no don't send all of your questions at once because we can't read all of them <laughs> if we can read them with the flying chat <laughs> no mention of legends so back to the Echo of Craft, I wanted to have a general globalized idea that would be available on classes as well. So finally, there are people who want to completely remove Echo of Craft. Some people are completely happy with the abundance that it creates. Same thing with the balancing. There are players that would play one class and they find that it's too powerful. And then the opposite of it, some people think it needs completely nerfed. So here on the Aquacraft, we try to find a compromise for the two versions. The people who want it removed and people who want it to stay as it is now. So we found a version which has a version of each Aquacraft individually without completely remove them. Because the bonus, we find that it's really interesting in terms of gameplay. The... The effects are superb in their effect on the game, so we just want to reduce their impact and uh, their quantity and frequency. But we don't see any utility or value in completely remove them. We've limited it, we've nerfed it, but we did not want to completely remove this from the game.
I've seen another question that passed just now about the almanacs. Regarding the uh, breeders, effectively, I didn't talk about this, but now, from now on, all the breeding will touch all mounts. So all three types, so the tenth of every month, will not just be uh, Drago turkeys, it will affect all types of mounts. Uh, Drago Dand. Drago Dang is Drago Turkey, and the translation in English, the automated one that ge that's generated, is called Dragons of India. <laughs> the Indian dragons. <laughs> ah, we haven't talked about this, but will there be any adjustments of uh, item changes, uh, like uh, set bonuses? It's going to come. Yes, it is going to come. It's going to happen. We haven't talked about it, but we've talked about it in the last December when we've explained that it wasn't it wasn't evident or easy. We have to manage existing things and then manage um, the stats. So it took a lot, lot more work. It's not just a value that you change on on from our end on the items and then boom, problem solved. So we have thought about it. Are we going to do some more modifications on sets? We thought, no, not at the moment it will be modified when all the items will be mo that might be it uh Eslix, you've asked questions about the legendary items maybe they will completely review all items at once instead of continuing to hit them here and there set bonuses res here so maybe they'll stop and do them all at once and do them properly it, uh, be patient it is for very soon for very soon Oh, and legendary items as well will be part of this. They will be concerned by the rebalancing of items in general. They are part of that work, body of work. Will there be any modifications on the Nightmare Office? Not to my knowledge, except in uh, that one context in the Nightmare dimension where it affects the modifier. But outside, everything remains the same. If you have it, it won't change. Can we talk about it really quickly, about guilds? I know we've mentioned it in this presentation and we've talked about it last week uh, during the uh, live with the Shadow event. We will bring about some modifications regarding to guilds, some added features regarding guilds during the Shadow server event, like the score, the activities, uh, things that you can do with your uh, guild members. We're conscious today that there's not much you can do as a guild really. So the idea that we've had with the Alliance is that Alliance is a PvP group. Guilds or people who play together and have the habit can just find each other very quickly and hang up. But we're still thinking about, but we've already mentioned it many, many times, the ability, we want to add functionalities to be completely guild-centered, to enhance the workings of it, to be specific to guilds so you can do activities together. But in any case, it will not be towards it will not be in this um, uh, update it will happen except for the size modification that will happen in this update but everything else they've mentioned the activities and stuff that we can do together uh, achievements or whatever else they're cooking will not happen this update <coughs> Coward spell remains for AP. <laughs> you will get the details. Every, it's the elemental spells at 4 AP that will change. But if you have specific questions on one spell, you will get everything in the change log. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow you get everything. It will be published. I remind you all that will be released immediately as the better. Ooh, about the haven bags. So there are mini haven bags that will add sets. Oh, it will add objects on. Oh, they're not they're not as big as the normal haven bags that you can buy or acquire. They're sort of like little packs that uh, it's like unlocking new cosmetics that you can add to existing ones. It's like an additional room with its own uh, enhancements, decors and stuff like that. It doesn't deserve an additional full room. Ah, 
ah, we have a canary in the coal mine or something that is bothering. It's like having something stuck in your teeth regarding uh, quests that we're thinking about what we'll do about it. What, what are we going to do about it? I will say it again, but the modification of Sadi and Ekaflip or for the next update. Will um, recipes, craft recipes be modified in anticipation or regarding Unity uh, porting? No, I don't think so, no. There has already been a lot of uh, set or craft modifications during the last uh, updates. So I think for now, pff, no, nothing. Aside from uh, what they've mentioned earlier. Oh, the island, whatever it's called, the April Island, the one with chocolate. Will it be open? I don't think it will be open. Oh no, oh no. I don't think it will be activated. There will be special achievements that were added. But you can try and win the beta, but maybe it won't be open. We could activate it in the last week, maybe. <laughs> Intense stare down. <laughs> in general. Ah, so here they're talking about uh, I think someone asked them about um, quests that make you level professions and her answer is essentially we don't want to create an incentive for you guys to just go and level professions in one account which is what pretty much all of us do <laughs> it's not a will that we have to encourage you to level all professions in one character and the uh the perverse effect from uh, quests is that it gives you objectives and you have it's it's really not we're not we're not uh, foreseeing any new uh, profession related achievements at all mm. my back my back on alliances we are thinking to bring about some modifications especially for Encourage people to join alliances and capture territories. Nothing concrete for this update, but it is on the roadmap and we're working on it. Another important question, which is uh, an up of some dungeons. Well, yeah, we've talked about nerfs of some of the most criticized dungeons. Or, but what about those are super easy? Nobody talks about that. <laughs> the balance, the PVM balancing is always one sided. <laughs> So in the um, in the immediate period, we want every class to be able to progress in its own adventure, but we don't want to forget the dungeons that are too easy. And we've talked between us about this, what sorts of modification will bring about to these dungeons. So the question is level 200, but in pretty much lower levels, there are also dungeons that are unbalanced and on the easy side. So this is something we are thinking about and we've discussed it just here. What dungeons? Do you have any examples for us? Yep, we've talked about the Abrakne dungeon. Yeah, too a bit too easy. Are you expecting to add ties in Colosseum? No, <laughs> that was an easy answer. No. <laughs> Funaroshi. It's planned to change for this app. What's what is planned? Nope, they're not gonna nothing. They didn't show Funaroshi. Oh, sorry. They did, they did uh, show the photo of Funaroshi alongside all the other dungeons, but I don't remember them saying anything about what's going to change about it. So they mentioned again that uh, Moonwolf mob, but they will uh, study the impact on the Moonwolf boss itself, making it much easier how that impacts the dungeon in general. They'll keep an eye on that. blobs for the quest about uh, around the world this question keeps coming back so <laughs> my god they're all shell-shocked from the questions of the chat <laughs> uh, the nerf of uh, I can't remember the name of it the the big eye from Owaimi that dungeon what is it called again the nerf they're asking about the details of how they're going to nerf it there will be some modifications about the boss's spell, but we haven't got anything concrete to tell you about today. 
Wormlord, yes, Darren. Are there any expected new doppels for classes? So, there is a big list that we have for things that we'd like to modify, and that is one of them. But uh, for now, there is nothing expected, nothing in the work for the next update. For the quests, essentially, yeah. The Four Horsemen which is uh, a really important quest, we can talk about it, because it is a quest that happens at the end of the game, and uh, as, as you said, there is a part of the players that said it's far too easy, and others said this is too difficult. Our goal is try and find a compromise, given that it's a quest, an endgame quest. We don't want to make it, we can say this word, to make it too easy, but there's a compromise to make, which because it's a fight that is quite complex, to modify but so far it hasn't been impacted by this modification the next update it is also it figures in the list of the things that we wanted to look at for this update but we didn't have the time so it won't be for this one it will be for the next one yeah that is how it is it will happen eventually yeah the new bonuses will be showing on the crossmos website the the almanacs the Crosmos website, you will see the um, offerings, the bonuses, uh, depending on every day. The new list will be updated, but not immediately. It will take a few days. Oh, there was, there was a croquette that was showing on the previous slides. It had to do with uh, balancing the XP for um, pets from uh, runes and smith magic resources. It's not evident to find images to illustrate certain concept, but that's the best one I found. <laughs> there is no, there is no modification on uh, bread itself, but I had to put it there to indicate uh, regen in dreams for HP and uh, energy. Will there be any changes on alignments? We've thought some time to facilitate the change of alignments because right now, as it stands, it's a bit laborious. It's quite difficult to go to this NPC and speak in multiple steps and then you can change your alignment. So we're thinking about simplifying the whole lot. So when we touch things like that, these are very old systems that are in place that were made in a specific way, 15 years old, things like that. So we're very careful about changing them. <laughs> Anytime we have to touch them, it is a lot more complex than we think of before we approach them, just because they're so old and intertwined with everything else. For Infinite Dreams, there will be no modifications as such. The modifications that will come will be linked to legendary items. So as we've said with the Kroku, Kroku suit earlier, we are conscious that there are some legendary items that are super strong. There, But it goes the other I was going to say strong, but it goes both ways. Some that are completely unused and some that are overpowered. So it will be an opportunity to rebring values to dreams itself by rebalancing with these modifications, by changing the rewards, they will affect dreams. And that's the only way we'll do. Not immediately, but it will happen over time. Not this update, though. Don't start speculating about the objects we will <laughs> We can tell you nothing at the moment, but we will talk to you in greater detail whenever we have more to tell you about. Why not put um, professions in common? I don't know what that means. Like Wakfu, we thought about it for a while, about what to do with uh, characters, and because now professions are linked to characters. If you create a new characters and the, the one that you play, you have to level up their professions. So we've thought about this question. The problem is that there are a lot of implications behind it. It's not something uh, that is easy to modify. To have this notion of uh, profession linked to an account rather than a character. And also because you have character transfers, that means you lose all your professions if you were to transfer. Or do you take them with you? So it's not evident or super easy. So we have to sit down and rethink these things before we make any modifications to them. How many AP? The Lantern. We said it was going to be summoned through other spells, like other spells. Why don't you completely remove the Echo Craft bonus? Well, we said earlier, we find it interesting in terms of gameplay, and we're just not ready to completely remove it because, yeah, it's interesting. 
maybe one or two other questions because we're talking a lot. I'm seeing a lot of questions about the nerfs. It's hard to answer questions. When will this class be modified? When this class will be nerfed? Generally, we try to to uh, foresee and plan them uh, uh, in waves so that we can do them properly. So now we've done the Fekka and the Foganaus and next Sadi and Eka. Uh, like we've said, I've seen the IOP mentioned. We try to do little modifications to try and... Uh, it's true that we've given five classes that will see medium importance modifications, but there will also be classes that will have two, three or five spells that will be even lighter changes like uh, the Forge Lance and others. And of course, we won't, we won't stop ourselves changing things during the beta if we see that something is asked a lot or there's an interest behind it. We could add other classes to the list if we see the utility of it during the beta. There's absolutely no problem with that. When the ornament for 22k uh, achievements... I have absolutely no idea for the time being. <laughs> I don't even know what the maximum achievement points are. <laughs> I don't have the number in my head. But uh, it's coming. Don't worry about it. 21,752. Nobody's... Uh, there's no... There's no... <laughs> it's around 21,752. Whoever got the number, bravo. So the ornament for 22k is still... It's still... Uh, uh, there's still a margin away because we haven't added any achievements for you to be able to unlock it because the max is still not 22k why would there be an ornament for something like that yeah so we still have some margin we still have some time to think about these things do we have some more some more details about the fact as we've said some more details will come tomorrow in the change log we the intent that we had coming into this life is to give you the big lines for you to get the general idea and tomorrow you'll get the exact details so i think we've touched upon everything that we needed to today there's a lot of questions that are popping in the chat but i think we're going to stop here just pause here thank you all thank you all for listening to us today we will re-invite you if you'd like to verify or test and give us your feedback on the modifications that we have presented to you today. Oh, and it, it just cut. <laughs> wow. Yeah.